Good boy. Let's rest here anyway. Come on, I'll find you some shade. Was this damn thing dry when you arrived here? Who wants to know? Who's talking to you? I was talking to him. You still get any water out of it? Yeah, a bit. The names are Quinlan. I was hoping to fill up my canteens here on the way south, but it seems the damn hole dried up early this year. How you end up here? Me and Risa was working with guys to a bunch of settlers heading west. Nice godly people. Too bad they consider us to be rather ungodly after a while. <laughs> anyway, our god-loving settlers decided to get rid of us at this water hole. We came here. They filled their barrels with whatever water was left kindly left us in canteens, and off they went. So here we are. Well, what kind of religious people were they, leaving you out in the middle of nowhere, without horses and guns? Uh, 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 uh. You see, guns are not the issue here. And now, you bring such a fine looking horse. Don't even think about it. You'll not get far. You think the horse could throw me off? Nah, but I would. Look, more company on its way. Priest and they This here our place of salvation all the water we need huh drink and I will give the camels drink also Easy, easy, it may have to last a while. You been out for a walk? Picking daisies? No, we've been on a coach to Bisbee. Um, we had to stop something with the wheel or the axle. When we saw the Indians gathering on the hill to the north, I thought it best to retreat. And Mr. Edwards chose to come with me. Leaving the rest behind, on foot into the desert. Why? Because the law told me to. I haven't heard of any troubles with Indians around here recently. A hundred and four score thousand men that were warriors. I'm pretty sure that we are alive only because we run away from there. Why did you go with him? So, in this awful country, who can you trust? So I went with the man of God. Well, you already know me as Edwards. Friends call me Ginny. 
Very well, Edward. Okay. It's nothing. Now your bloody Indians get us here. Bullshit, those are no Indians, man. What do you want? Let's just say we have a treasure map. And you're sitting right where X marks the spot. Let us go in peace. You have the place all to yourselves. Yeah. What if the treasure goes with you? Listen, we don't know nothing about it. Okay, anyone know what he's talking about? Now would be a good time to come clean. And you? What's this? Hey, look! A miracle. a miracle! Yeah, a miracle. Oh, you poor girl. All sweaty and disheveled. Let me take care of you. Best we stick together for now, Risa. from the camp, right? How many are there? Yo no comprendo, señor. Shit. Anyone speaking Spanish? I don't speak very much, but I understand it okay. Go ahead. She's yours. Buenos dias. Soy Padre Van Diemen. Como se llama? Yo me llamo Maria. Maria? Like Virgin Mary, the Holy Mother. 
eh, eh, cuántas personas en las montañas ahí. Ocho hombres con pistolas y rifles. Son gringos y mexicanos. El líder es Adolfo Huerta. El alacrán. You know that man? Yeah. Hey, Alacran. This is a Quinlan. What do you want from us? A Quinlan? A Quinlan? You are alive? What is it you want from us? Tell him. Some 60 miles north of here. We stumbled upon this dying old geezer and he didn't look too well with all those bullet wounds. That bastard took it, he said. All I had, close to 50,000, and then he left for the Mexican desert. That pig has it. Find him. You gotta find him. And then the old geezer died. Heading down Mexico from there and through the desert. This is about the only place with a chance to find water. So here we are, and so are you. Whoever that was, he could have gone somewhere else. There's also a group of settlers coming through here recently. Maybe it was one of them. There weren't no wagon tracks where the old man died. Nothing. Maybe there was someone who joined them. Afterwards. Tell me. El Alacran, who is that guy? He once rode with me a long time ago. Working banks and trains mainly. The guy's crazy. Didn't stop anywhere. Killing old people, women, even children. He want to quit. Nobody leaves El Alacran. Only death. He left me for dead, but I recovered. So I was looking for him first to get even. But after a while, I kind of got over it, so I was heading south to get a fresh start. We have to kill him again.
This heat's absolutely killing me. Not the heat. I have a feeling something else will kill you first. Or someone. Say, oh, Quinlan, you want a new start down south, yet you don't speak any Spanish? Nah, I never learnt it. I told I don't speak Spanish if I go far enough south. Oh, really? Where's that? You speak English? Guess I'll find out. Hey, preacher. Mm. Is there holy water in it? No, it just says the canteen belongs to the church. Plain water can be just as valuable sometimes. I can't stand this any longer. Will you shut up? All you can do is moan. What are you doing here anyway? I just came over from England a little over two months ago. So what made you come here? I've been reading a lot about America and the growing nation and its problems. And I wanted to come over and uh, help build it. <laughs> What's left to build that you could possibly take care of? Well, cleanliness and good manners for a start. Civilization. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Pew, pew. Se han maltratado. Fui su en por más de un mes. Antes ya había intentado escapar, pero después de eso me ataron. Estuve tratando de desatarme hasta que pude correr otra vez y llegar hasta su refugio. Muchas gracias por estar aquí, padre. Poor girl. She had a rough time with the bandits. Yeah, absolutely. There must be a way to talk to that man, Alacran. Look, Pritchie, you've got to understand, this guy is a crazed killer. Even only his own men would whisper how his mother died in childbirth. You know, the first thing he did coming into this goddamn world was kill his own mother. And he hasn't stopped killing since. You can talk to the woman, can't you? There's nicer things to do to a woman like her, don't you think? Talk is boring. Why, what do you mean? You're Mexican. Can't you speak Spanish? No. Where are you from then? I'm from an island far away. So am I. You see, you and I are just the same. Los bendidos tienen agua? Sí, tienen un poco. Más que nosotros? Sí, creo que tienen más que ustedes. You hear? She thinks the bandits have more water than us. What can we do? I'm wondering about Edward's bag. Maybe what they're looking for is inside it. And uh, he acts funny about it. Why? My bag? There's nothing of any value inside of it. Devil knows what they're after. Who says it's something that'd be carried in a bag like that? 
It could be a simple deed of ownership to a mine or something. You know, a simple piece of paper that any one of us could be carrying in our breast pocket. He's right, absolutely. Anyone can carry that, he said. Even in his breast pocket. So how about everyone emptying his pockets then? Hey, go get the priest, it's his turn now. Yeah. El Padre. Padre. Who did that? Do you think the bandits made it in the camp last night? I don't know. Sure looks like it. But uh, you were keeping watch last night. Only for three hours. I didn't sleep. I heard nothing. No pueden dejarlo aquí. Es asqueroso. Y muy irrespetuoso. Y escalofriante. Deberían enterrarlo. What's she saying? Entiérralo. I guess she doesn't want a dead body in our cosy little group. Well, she's right. We should bury him. For all I care. But we should check his clothes first. Check him thoroughly. There's got to be someone here. Whoever killed him maybe already has the prize. Let's try and get him out of here. What about you, Edwards? Give us a hand. Stop him there. In all likelihood, the only decent man in this rotten nest of vipers. Didn't help him, did it? <laughs> 
How can you be so callous? There's not a grain of civilised money in any one of you. Will you shut up with your civilization? Our people, our fathers and grandfathers came here because of civilised countries like yours. No matter how good you are, if you're born poor, you die poor. What's so good about that, Edwards? We don't want that here. Everyone going around killing each other for a quick dollar. Is that any better? I guess we'll find out eventually. See how I look. How much longer can we stand this? Once it gets dark, one of us should try to get to the next town with that horse and get some help. My horse isn't going anywhere. Besides, the moon is too full. It's not dark enough, it's too dangerous. What's not dangerous here? You want to go? No! I would. Yeah, I know. You know him. If he tries to get away from here, will he try and get us some help? Do you trust him? No. <laughs> so, you'll have to ride. How will I ever take the Banco Nogales now with our car? Getting my hands on it on the right day. And then I can spend the rest of my life drinking in every whole house, far and wide. Nogales? I happen to know they have a safe from England in Nogales. You do, huh? Do you happen to know what type it is? I happen to know the exact model. My uncle, who works for Chubb in Wolverhampton, and he told me they had to ship the F-95 to Nogales, Arizona, in the colonies. You don't know its combination, do you? Actually, Reza, I do. And you've got to tell me. You better write it down. Uh, I can't write, but uh, I have the best of brains. Come on, tell me. Okay, Risa, I'll tell you this. Listen very carefully. One to the left. One to the left, and the rest? That's it. It's not a combination lock. It uses a key. Five keys to be precise. The bank executives hold one key each, and the main key only works when you've got at least three of the other four keys inserted into the locks. But then, poor Risa, it's a simple one to the left. Listen to me, you smart ass. 
You don't want to play games with me. I can get pretty nasty. Hey, Risa, it's your turn. I thought your way of living was the easiest and fastest to get rich. Why do you need help then? And how come you never have any money? You know, dirty money can get back at you and haunt you, so you better spend it fast. <laughs> Reno, you never shoe. I don't want to hit her. I see. Now can be shoe, you don't hit her. Hey Edward, come back you idiot! Stop right there. right there. You finally bring the dresser? No, no, sir. I have none. Get lost then. Idiot. What if it is in the bag? But why did you stop him then? There may be explosives in his bag to blow us to pieces. You fool. I'm tired of the sitting and waiting. Just wait and see.
Risa, where is he? Yo no lo sé. No debería estar de guardia. Hace un minuto que estaba allí todavía. Damn it. I even heard a skull crack like a pine tree. One of your new friends killed most of the horses, chased the rest of them away. That damn son of a bitch. Where's my brother? Dad? My brother's dead? You killed him, you bastard! It's all your fault! Why do you never do as I tell you? You and your brother. Don't touch her. You keep out of this. I mean it. What is it you really after? The treasure of the girl? Both. So leave her alone and get out of here. I second that. My head is exploding, but uh, didn't I just hear her speak English? Oh, yes. Loss of ear. She's many things. Lady, campesina, woman. And witch. Right. You must have heard of the alcalde of San Lucas. I have. People say he was killed by a witch. And he was. I get to kill you a second time. You're done killing. Now it's my turn.
So what's your real name, man? You Just call me Belle. Oh, my little girl, I can see you in a state of fatigue and doubt. But remember, you always wanted to die rich. So enjoy it. I won't spoil a dream come true by taking advantage of a moment of weakness. Trust me. You ought to be relishing this, and I know you will here.
Thank you.